10 Best Chinese Drama with Historical Mystery Genre Hey drama lovers! In this video I will show you some of 10 best Chinese drama with historical mystery genre. But don't forget to like and subscribe to always support me. And so that I always upload the latest videos for you. Okay, let's to discuss 10 best Chinese drama with historical mystery genre. <laughs> One, Main and Homes, 2020. It is the 6th century CE and the Key Kingdom, in what is now Eastern China is a land at war. The young teenage prince Xiao Yanji, a prodigal young military talent, is sent to ward off a force of invaders. Although he makes a valiant effort, his army is ultimately ambushed and defeated in a decisive battle. An opportunist foe at the imperial court takes advantage of the situation, forcing Pei Yanji to step down as head of the army and manages to get a young subservient candidate to take the throne. Pei Yanji feels he was betrayed. He vows to get to the bottom of the intrigue and goes undercover to investigate, pretending to be a commoner to help him work undetected. On his quest for the truth, he meets a remarkably smart and resourceful young female detective named Su Si. Together, they form a close bond. They team up with two other quick-witted young sleuths and make a joint bid to discover the scale of the scheming that has undermined the Imperial Palace. <laughs> 2. The Blooms at Ruyi Pavilion, 2020 Fu Rong is the second daughter of the powerful Fu family. But after a terrible mishap and a painful illness, she is granted the gift of foresight. Able to look into her own future, she can see great wonders and unspeakable sadness. She sees herself marrying a dashing duke named Su Shu Jin, but she can also see that a tragic and untimely destiny also awaits her. She begins to think that her untimely end may be linked to her relationship with the duke, so decides to avoid him at all costs. However, destiny will not be so easily dissuaded. A number of dastardly plots threaten to dethrone the royal family and cast the realm into chaos. Three, my roommate is a detective. Twenty twenty. Realizing that the police force will need some extra help with this difficult case, he decides to form an elite crime-busting detective team. To round off the team. He enlists the help of Bai Yunin, a focused young female reporter for a daily newspaper. A free-thinking, independent young woman, she has a strong sense of justice and pledges to help catch the killer. The trio form a small detective squad that specializes in solving strange and unsettling murder mysteries. <laughs> Four, the Sword and the Brocade, 2021. Set during the Ming Dynasty, the story revolves around the romance between General Xu Lin Yi and the concubine's daughter Shi Yi Niang. That starts from an arranged marriage. Despite being born with a low status, Shi Yi Niang is extremely assertive and believes that a woman's vision should not be limited to the household. She hopes to rely on her embroidery skills as a ticket to freedom. However, the once esteemed Luo family is in a state of decline. Hoping to save the clan through a marriage alliance, Shi Yi Niang is selected to become the wife of Yongping Duke and Great General Shu Ling Yi. Things were not easy for her due to the Shu family's biases towards her. Nonetheless, 
she manages to win over their trust through her optimism and sincerity. Xu Ling Yi also becomes attracted to her various beautiful qualities, such that husband and wife manage to find love after marriage. Through Xu Ling Yi's support, Xi Yi Niang opens Xiang Liang Pavilion to have her own embroidery workshop. Meanwhile, Xu Ling Yi experiences many setbacks as he tries to protect his homeland and improve the livelihood of the people by supporting the lifting of a maritime ban. As they face a crisis that could spell the end for the Xu family, Xu Li Yi and Xi Yi Niang continue to support each other through thick and thin. Sive, Killer and Healer, 2021 A story that follows two men who are polar opposites. One kills while the other heals. One is a violent cop, and the other is a compassionate doctor. Together, they support and redeem each other during troubled times. Jiang Yue Lu heads the Jingcheng police station, and appears neither good nor evil, yet smugglers tremble at the thought of him. While investigating an opium case in Hong Kong, Yue Lu encounters Yu Ji, who learns that Yue Lu suffers from bipolar disorder. Although initially reluctant to undergo treatment, Yue Lu eventually opens up to Yu Ji. Despite their differing values, they slowly become close friends. At this time, the secrets from the past start to bubble to the surface. Six, I've fallen for you, 2020. A story that follows the quirky female investigator Tian Sun Ki as she searches for her long lost brother and cracks many cases along the way. Growing up, Tian Sun Ki had a strange liking for performing autopsies. She had an older brother who would always be by her side, and they spent many good years together. One day, he mysteriously disappears. Su and Ki, as a child, promises to find her true love and vows never to marry unless it's him. In her search, she comes across many potential candidates and forms new friendships. The gang accidentally becomes involved in several cases in the area, one of which seems closely related to the disappearance of her brother all those years ago. A shocking conspiracy that is 10 years in the making comes to light. <laughs> Seven, the sleuth of Ming Dynasty, 2020. In 15th century China, a quick-witted senior-ranking government official named Tung Fun takes a break from his routine activities in order to investigate a murder teaming up with martial arts specialist guardsman Sui Zhou in a bid to solve the case. When the peace-loving landlord of the house Tung Fun is renting is found dead, the duo investigates. It is an apparent suicide, but the investigative pair quickly realizes that something looks amiss. They investigate and eventually succeed in finding a suspect they believe may have killed the landlord, but they soon learn that this murderer did not act alone, and is just a smaller player in a much grander scheme. As they dig deeper into the crime, the duo soon realizes that something very sinister is afoot, including a plot to launch a bloody coup. Eight, the Autumn Ballad, 2022. The story of a witty young girl named Kiyu Yun and a cold-faced duke named Liang Yi, who goes from battling each other with wits and boldness to understanding and accompanying each other. 
Kiyu Yun is the least favored eldest daughter of the Kiyu Manor. She managed to reap happiness step by step relying on her own efforts and wisdom. Nine, stand by me, twenty twenty one. In the ninth century Tang Dynasty era China, the emperor is locked in a deadly power struggle with a group of formidable eunuchs who wield enormous power at court. He strikes back by ordering the death of their ringleader Qiu Shiliang, but the mission is botched. The eunuchs get their revenge by murdering the emperor's loyal first minister, along with his entire family. But his twin daughters, later known as Cheng Ruoyu and Qiu Yanji, escape. The eunuchs now seize yet more power over the royal court, rendering the emperor a mere puppet. The minister's two daughters have evaded detection thus far, having gravitated toward very different fates. Yanji becomes part of Qiu Shiliang's household and is secretly hell-bent on revenge. Her sister Ruo Yu is on the opposite side, joining a group of military professionals enlisted by young Emperor Qi Yun. The emperor is determined to rid the scourge of the eunuchs once and for all, and Ruo Yu pledges her life to help him do that, even if it means throwing herself in the path of danger. The duo forms a romantic bond as they get closer. Ten, warm on a cold night, twenty twenty three. Su Ju Ah is a young, talented, and personable female constable with a keen investigatory mind. She hails from the Qian Kingdom, meaning she is in possession of a rabbit-like spirit, and that she constantly feels cold. She is attracted to warmth wherever she can find it. During the course of her investigations, she is forced to go undercover, where she meets Han Zheng, a member of the Qi Kingdom's ruling family. Han Zheng is imbued with a wolf-like spirit, which grants him phenomenal strength and agility. It also makes his skin incredibly warm to the touch, a factor that makes Su Jua want to cuddle up to him. But he lacks interpersonal skills and is harsh and abrasive to everyone he meets. Opposites attract, however. And this unusual duo forms an increasingly close bond, as they investigate a strange murder case that involves both of their kingdoms. <laughs> 